Good morning and welcome back to my channel y'all. As you can see, I wake up pretty early, not too crazy early, but pretty early. And I always start out the morning with a big, big gulp of ice water. I always keep ice water next to my bed. And then I head on into the bathroom with my ice water and wash my face. I always start the morning out washing my face with nice cold water. It feels so good in the morning. And my skincare has gotten a whole lot different um, this year. I decided to finally take control of my skincare and get rid of the awful acne I had in past years. So I use Lime Life by Alcone's skincare line. Right now I'm just washing with Quench Cleanse and it is a really gentle cleanser that has helped clear up my acne and my acne scarring a ton. Of course, I always rinse with cold water to wake me up even more. I wish I could look like a Neutrogena commercial, but that is just not the case. <laughs> you know, that one where they glamorously splash water on their face and don't get it all over themselves? Yeah, I can't do that. Next, I go in with my One Drop Wonder, which is also from Lime Life. It is pomifera oil and it's just one ingredient it is so good for healing acne scarring and any active breakouts that I might have if I've got like any kind of hormonal acne going on take my ice water into the kitchen which is an absolute disaster when this video was filmed <laughs> set that down and open up the blinds in the house this morning it was so foggy outside but it was so pretty. Next, I make my caffeine. <laughs> Y'all, I do not like coffee, but I need caffeine in the morning so bad. So I have uh, like the Walmart version of like Mio Energy. It's like a little powder stick that you pour into cold water and it tastes like fruit punch or lemonade or grape, whatever the flavor is, but it has about as much caffeine as a cup of coffee does. So I make those every morning. I normally have one or two in the morning and that gets me through my day. Give it a little shake and we're ready to roll. Then I move into the bathroom again and do my hair. And then I'm going to curl up with my Bible and my devotional and just chill out. Um, I read my devotional for the day, read what passage it's coming from, say the prayer that it comes with, and then I go back into my Bible journal and I find that passage, I read over it, I do some highlighting, I try to highlight in like fun little coordinated colors just so it's a little more fun to look at and go back to. And I know it looks like I'm highlighting a ton here, but I just was really, really moved by this particular passage this morning. I was reading Proverbs 31, and I just absolutely love all the things that it has to say about women and women as wives and mothers and workers. And I just really, really was moved by it. So I was highlighting a lot of really awesome verses. And then I ended up writing a little prayer in my Bible journal just for me to look back on in the future. This is one of my favorite parts of my Sunday mornings. From there, I will quickly get dressed and start working on some chores. I do a load of laundry before church um, and hopefully it gets 
washed before we go so I can throw everything in the dryer so it's dry when we get home and I can kind of put everything up. So here I am just going through looking for similar colored things to throw in the wash. Again, our house is kind of a disaster. When this was being filmed, we were in the process of doing a big clean, like a summer clean <laughs> versus a spring clean. So there was a lot of random things in a lot of random places. And again, just doing a little bit more chores. I had a couple things to put in the dishwasher. We try to load the dishwasher as we go every day so that we don't have to spend a ton of time throughout the day doing it. Next, I am going live on Facebook and doing my makeup. I am currently, at when this was being filmed, doing 100 days of lives on Facebook where I go live and do different parts of my makeup and skincare. I am a beauty guide with Lime Life by Alcone, so I was just going on and showing the different products that I was using that day. Just a pretty simple look for church. Here I am popping on my foundation using my wonderful beauty sponge. Putting on some concealer. It's waterproof and 50% pigment. So I love it for hot summer days when I know that we'll be out and about afterwards. And then putting on my HD pressed powder to keep everything set and also make it look absolutely airbrushed and flawless. Like I said, it was on Facebook Live, so that's why it looks like I'm talking the entire time, because I was. Popping on some bronzer to bronze up my skin. And then I love this dark nude lip liner. It lasts for five to seven hours. And it, anything you put on over top of it, including this amazing lip gloss, it just lasts all day long. Our lip gloss is not sticky at all, which makes me so happy. Time to do the brows. On this day, my brows were really, really untamed. <laughs> and I actually ended up doing some maintenance on them the day after this but on this day they were a little wild so a little extra loving on the brows that day and I like to go with pretty neutral colors on my eyes when I go to church I just do like a neutral one shade brown and I always kind of blend it out underneath my eye and I don't really go any, you know, go too big or over the top for church. on my favorite mascara ever it is lengthening thickening and it's just so 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 good do y'all get mascara everywhere I get it everywhere on my face and so I use a little post-it note folded in half to keep it from getting on my eyelids which usually works pretty well And then of course, we've got to finish everything off with some setting spray after we take a drink of water. Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. And then we leave for church. We always get to church about an hour early because we work with the musicians and do some of the music for our church every Sunday and Wednesday. So we get there early so we can practice and go over songs for that week and the next week. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and connect with me on Instagram and Pinterest. I'll see you guys later.